What is up all my fellow Turbos? This is Steve Turbo and I'm coming to you with a little bitty update of everything that we learned from CEO yesterday. So yesterday at CEO, Capcom said they had a huge announcement to make in regards to Street Fighter V. Now all of us thought, ah, they're just going to tell us when the story mode stuff is going to release in a bookie. Well, we got a little bit more than that. We got Balrog confirmed to be joining the roster in the June update that comes out on July 1st. It's not a June update, Capcom. That's a July update. Regardless, it's awesome to hear that we're getting two new characters at the same time. Balrog looks absolutely awesome. I think he and he's he's beautifully animated. He looks really cool. I've, I'm not a Balrog player by any means, but I'm even willing to give him a try. You know, I, I think they've done an exceptional job, and he's probably one of the best-looking characters I've seen in the game so far, and that's just based on my own opinion. Really. Um, part of this video is going to be a little lazy, it's just going to be me restarting the YouTube video. But we also learned, in addition to Balrog being announced, that both he and Ibuki are going to be tournament legal for Evolution 2016. Now, typically, for a character to be considered tournament legal, a character has to have been released for at least a month. Those are Capcom Pro Tour rules. But we are getting them at Evolution 2016, and that is absolutely awesome. I know PR Balrog's jumping in his seat, man, because it's going to be awesome to see Balrog back in his hands once again. I can't wait to see it, because you know what, I feel like Eduardo, he was making do with Nikali, but I could tell that he was just biding his time until Balrog was released, so Balrog looking like the straight up beast that he is, he's going to be a weapon, an absolute weapon in Eduardo's hands, so I really can't wait to see what we get with that. So it is interesting that we did get that tournament legal confirmation, because this is just something we were all worried about. We were like, man, they haven't announced Ibuki yet, or they haven't announced when Ibuki is coming out and all that, but is she going to be tournament legal? Well, that answer we got, finally. So that's that's really awesome. I will say that I love the fact that uh, Balrog has his uh, old school casino stage. That's really cool. Um, yeah, and we also got our first looks at Yurian and Jury, and that was just so awesome to see. Um, a lot of people have been up in arms that Jury had her uh, cleavage covered up. I mean, guys, honestly, I really don't care either way. I mean, if they did it, cool. If they if they didn't, you know, no no harm, no foul. I always thought Jury was more accentuated in the booty area, if you ask me. But that's one man's opinion. Yurian, on the other hand, looks absolutely cool. Um, so does Jury. Let me let me preface that. Yurian looks awesome. I mean, the, the whole Persian club owner outfit they've got them all dolled up in. I mean, that's cool. I mean, I would prefer him in his normal state, you know, in his banana hammock, you know, just because that's part of his character. But it is what it is. Jury sounds like Jury as far as voice actor goes, and Yurian's, I'm definitely going to go with the uh, Japanese voices for Yurian. Um, but yeah, it was awesome to see a sneak peek for those two that just added to the hype as you saw in my reaction trailer. The, I can't wait for the both of them and I, keep, I really can't wait to see what the future holds for Street Fighter V as far as characters go. Because I feel as the more we add, the deeper the game gets. Now, CEO, it was a fantastic tournament. CEO is one of my favorite tournaments of all time, not only because it's wrestling themed, but it's the show right before EVO. So you're getting a preview of what you can expect to see at EVO. And once again, in Street Fighter V, the top two were Tokido and Infiltration. These two are proving to be just unstoppable forces. The only people who can beat them are themselves. That was proven last night, and Tokido finally snatched victory from Infiltration and did it with a fucking cherry on top with a perfect victory in the final round. Congratulations to Tokido, your Ryu is methodical, beautiful. And Infiltration, I see your Alex, man. I, I would love to see that. If somebody could, if you win Evo with Alex, that'd be sick. But either way, congratulations to to Tokido, and congratulations to all the winners, all the winners of CEO 2016. This tournament was absolutely awesome, and again, one of my favorites. You know, everybody did a great job bringing the hype and setting the tone for Evolution 2016 this year. Guys, 
Believe me when I say that fighting games are a part of my life at this point. I have been playing them since I was a young boy, and they have been and always will be a big part of my life. And I don't ever want to see that go away. I only want to see it thrive. I want to know that even when the day comes that I have to move on beyond this, that it's still there that I'm not looking back at the ruins and shambles of something that once was and once was so great. It's, you know, it'd be like looking at an old abandoned theme park. I don't want that. I always want fighting games to thrive. I always want them to succeed and I always want them to become more. And I want the community to stay there because the fighting game community is one of the best, most giving, most wonderful communities you could ever be a part of. Sure, we complain about a lot of stuff, but you know what? At the end of the day, we're one big family. No matter whether you're pro player or you're casual player, if you play fighting games and love fighting games, you're part of the FGC. So everybody, I wanted to give that little, uh, little pouring of my heart out there along with this little update. Thank you guys so much for watching this update, and please, make sure that you subscribe to us here on Hyper Arcade Turbo Pros and give this video a like if you liked it. Until next time, guys, we will see you soon. We're probably going to see you on, oh, I'd say, you'll probably see us on Saturday for the story mode playthrough videos, okay? Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.